Mr. Hashim Rahman, how you doing tonight, champ? I'm great. I'm great. Feeling real good. Well, uh, I was looking at all the pictures you were taking. I saw you had a, a picture there with the, uh, our brother Layman Brewster, and uh, I was just uh, wondering, uh, you know, uh, how, how did that week go for uh, you guys? I saw you had a, a picture there with, with all of the champions. What was it like uh, being around the old friends? Man, it was it was it was unbelievable. It was humbling. Uh man, just being around such great players. One man, one marker, then I have one one wiki right. I mean, it was it was overwhelming. And yeah, uh, you know, they, the fans just you know, the people the Nevada box and all the fans just wanted to let us know that they appreciated our careers. It was just, you know, it was just a, a heartfelt moment. Uh, so, uh, now, uh, like I said, I, I saw you you and Layman. Uh, I saw you with, with uh, some of the other guys. Uh, uh, so, with all, all of you champions around, I mean, you know, uh, how were you accepted, you know, by the fans? I mean, you know, I'm sure, you know, you had a lot of uh, galas and things like that. Uh, but uh, you know, those are mostly your peers. Uh, you know, uh, you've always been one of the fan friendly in, in all of your fights. Uh, so, uh, what was that, that adoration like? You know, getting it from from the fans and, and, and the upper echelon of, of boxing. It was. It was. It was I mean, my, my peers, all of all of the champions, everybody just get along like we were just high school team. It was like a like a family reunion of sorts. Uh, so my peers, we all we all vibe really really well, um, and then it was it was mostly family and friends there. So it was uh, if it wasn't my family, it was Winky family or Bernard family. So it was everybody family was there, and it was just a, it was just a, um, a great time, a great moment. So uh, it, it, it went over real well. We, the, the, the fan appreciation was tremendous. It was just a, it was just a, a hell of an event. Now, did uh, did you uh, meet any of the guys that uh, you had possibly, uh, you know, fought in the amateurs and or, or you know even during your career? No, not 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 this time. But I had in past events, but but not necessarily this one. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, K nine, I, I hear you back there. Uh, you uh, want to talk with the champ a little bit, champ to champ? Hey, yeah, what's up, champ? What's good? Hey, I'm good, I'm good, man. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Um, You had a great career, man, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I just want to say, man, yeah, you shocked the world when you fought Lennox <laughs> Lewis. Yeah, I, I appreciate I was, you, know, I, I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, I was actually down. I was actually down at Crunk. You know, I, I'm actually the last guy to actually train out of Crunk that became a world champion. Okay. Yeah. Well, you yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't trained know. by the best. Then. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I was I was managed by the best. I can't really say I was really trained by him. He gave me pad work a couple of times, but I was down there. I witnessed a whole lot of stuff. I witnessed, you know, Lennox Lewis being down there, Prince Nassim. Layla Lee, Tommy Hearns, I was down there. I actually stayed right down the street from Crump. So for me to become a world champion at the original Crump where everybody else and all the people from around the world came down there, it was pretty good. A little known fact, I sent my son down there uh, to work with him main store. He said, well, before he ever had an amateur fight, I sent him down there to get tutelage from Emmanuel. So he stayed in Emmanuel's house, went to camp, went to Klitschko, um, it was it was it was a real good experience. Um, Andy Lee actually taught my son how to fight southpaw. It's a little known fact; nobody knows it. Oh yeah, and Andy, you know, Andy Lee, my home. I I did I did see when he was there because Andy Lee was my homeboy. We was pretty cool. Me and Andy Lee, we okay. used to spar. Matter of fact, Andy Lee was the first person. I was the first person Andy Lee ever spar when we came to Detroit. Okay. Well, yeah, small, yeah yeah small yeah yeah. Oh yeah, real small world. Yeah, real small world. Yeah, 
I've been around for a minute. You know what I mean? I just was a young buck coming up. I only had ten amateur fights, but you know when when Manny Stewart so wanted to see what fight. a guy, he only had ten amateur fights. Yeah, and one mm-hmm. world title. Yep. I only had ten amateur yep. fights. Oh, you only had ten? I only had ten. Oh man, you I, 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 were you older than me, so I was trying to be like you, I guess. <laughs> I only had ten. They just see me in there. Like, okay, get out there, make some money. You don't want right, to yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, it's that heart. It's that heart. The heart take you a long way. You know, yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. new day. It's a new day and era. See, we we grew up where there wasn't no YouTube and no Instagram to push us. We pushed ourselves. Oh nah, nah. That's what I tell these guys. I said, man, they Instagram muscle, man. You ain't no stress in that. You don't want to work hard. You just want to look good for the Instagram. Oh. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't need a video camera on me for me to go out there and know my life on the line and know right. I want to be great. That's what I'm talking camera. about. That exactly. part, that's what I'm talking yep. about. That's exactly yeah, what I'm talking right. about. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna talk your head up, chap. But yeah, I, I don't witness. I don't witness all the things you done did. I, you know, I'm a real boxing. I'm into boxing, man. You know what I'm saying? So I, I saw all y'all, everybody. I've been around. Well, 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 if you've been around, you, you know my protege, and you know my guy who I'm going to take you to every time, and you know he's going to win it. Who? Michael Hunter. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know Michael Hunter. Yeah, I know you, you train Michael Hunter right now. Yeah, we're ready, we ready to do it again September 13th, and then we want them, whoever yeah. got the title. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, I see that, yeah. I, I, I already see what's going on. I see what's going on. I got, oh, I got. I mean, I know you, I know you training him, and I know he got somebody that's good that's training him and everything. I got to go look in detail at some of his fights and see the progress on oh. where he's coming at. You know if he's ready or oh, not, okay. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go check us out. The last two fights I've been with him, watch look what happened. I, I know he was real. He was real close to getting the Anthony Joshua fight. I know when he when he saw Andy Ruiz beat him, he was like, "Oh my goodness, that was me." Already, you already know how that feeling, bro. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But they didn't want that work. They wanted somebody they thought that was going to be oh. easy because Andy, Andy Reeves was like he was out of shape, but he surprised right, me. Right, but, uh, but we ready for whoever. It ain't no, we don't need to tune up. We don't need nothing. We ready for any heavyweight that that that, that think they can fight, that that won a title, set we fight for entering title, we fight for anything. We ready for Mike. Mike got the hey. experience. He can afford everybody. We ready for whoever. Hey, hey, you know, you know, it'll be a, you know, it'll be a real good fight. It, it, it'll put y'all right there. Uh, that, that guy, Demetrius Salidas, got his last name is Franklin. Uh, John Franklin, John, Jonathan Franklin, whatever. I mean, I, I said, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Ain't ready for Mike. Yeah, but I'm saying like that. He got a lot of. He got. A, he done fought on Showtime two times in a row. He looked like trash and, you know, both times. Right, right. But I'm just saying, though, getting that, getting that exposure he got, that, that'd that be a good fight for y'all. Y'all win that fight, boy. It, it'll put you right in line for a world championship. Well, you know them. You got to know. We, we, we want it. We'll take it. We'll yeah, take yeah, it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, yeah. I was looking at the business. We'll stop, huh? Right, right. Oh, you call, contact Demetrius Salida. Yeah, I can do that, but I'm 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 almost sure. I'm almost about to insert the facility ain't gonna take that. He he, 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 he needs he needs more work. He ain't ready for Mike. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I don't but think uh, Demetrius is is gonna put him out there uh, in the line of fire like <laughs> that. That would be <laughs> But uh uh I've seen uh you know, someone you know give, given, you know, much respect to the sport. Uh, and the way that you carried yourself during the sport, what do you think about all of these uh, drug tests, uh, failings, and guys losing the, the title on, on, on the scales? Uh, you, you mentioned Instagram and, and, and things like that. The, uh, you know, they want to look good for their accounts. Do you think, uh, you know, this is having a negative effect uh, on the world of boxing? Yeah, I mean, but I mean, black, I mean, boxing it took so many black eyes. We can, we can, we can stand it. But let me speak on this steroid abuse. Uh, 
I think um, anybody get caught using performing enhancing should be banned for life. They they, they give these guys a um, little um, smack on the wrist. Uh, you suspended six months. They weren't fighting for six months anyway, so they really weren't suspended. So so as as, as long as boxer keeps slapping these guys on the wrist, they're gonna keep taking chances. So when you talk about people's lives, I mean our our lives on the line. Whether you don't use steroids, so imagine you using performance enhancing drugs. I mean, that's just that's just such an unfair advantage, and and, and people applaud it. You know, long as they see a good knockout or exciting fight, they don't care who's at risk or what people did to do it. So I mean, I I personally believe they should be banned for life, and all these champions who've been caught. You know, putting them in the Hall of Fame and giving them credit, I, I don't think they should get any credit. I think all their victories should be taken from them. So, you know, I, I'm I'm totally against it, and I feel like it's a, it's a shame for whoever been had to fight one of these guys. Uh, that, that's a good point. Uh, you know, especially when you talk of guys that, that – have failed multiple drug tests, but yet and still get shot at the championship. Uh, and, you know, regardless of, of the le- level of talent, uh, you know, I'm kind of with you. If you get caught, you know, maybe the first time you get suspended for nah, a year. That, see, see, that's where we differ. I don't believe once you get caught the first time, it shouldn't be a second chance. You shouldn't get a second chance. You're playing with people's lives. Something somebody's child, that's somebody's baby, that's somebody's husband, that's somebody's father. You can go in and kill him with all this added performance enhancing power you had. I mean, that's just so unfair. The playing field is not even. And that's somebody's life. You can give them brain damage, they can never talk to their child again. You can kill them. I mean, it's it's just so unfair. Why should you get a, a second chance? That's that's crazy to me. Hey, now, you you mm-hmm. two time world champion. What's up? What do you think? You know, um, to be honest with you, when I when I take my my drug test, and, and you know I do have to piss in a little pot or p- piss in a little cup and all that, I don't trust I don't trust where my my sample is going. I be thinking that they're gonna rig me because boxing is so dirty. They can mess with your samples, man. So it's like I don't even trust boxing, mm-hmm. man. I really trust boxing. I know I know for sure I never cheated ever in my life. But I would be, I wouldn't be surprised if they would have said, "Man, K9, you done came up dirty." Because I don't trust that they would actually, they would actually be fair with me. So, you know, when, when it comes to a person, you know, show, um, showing up dirty, I think that majority of the people that's that, that's getting caught is dirty, are are really dirty. But I think that every blue moon, or maybe ten percent, five percent, two percent, it's a chance that somebody's stuff can be tampered with. Uh, now, 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 I, I got to go with I see him in this one. I, you know, I, I, I don't think that the things. I think things. If you're dirty, you're dirty. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think you know that that, that they're gonna tamper with with, with certain guys and, and not. You know, I mean, it, it, it's possible, but you know, uh, yeah. what, what, what's I'm, your I'm, thoughts I'm, on? What's your thoughts on that, uh, uh, champ, Mr. Rockland? I mean, well, they doing they doing they doing um, A samples, B samples, they doing blood tests, they doing they they they, they got it down to a science now to prevent uh, somebody uh, tampering with your test. They got it sealed up. They seal it up in front of you. They don't even open your B sample unless um, you're present and you, and you fail the A sample. So. I mean, there's measures in place where you can you can uh, eliminate um, somebody uh, tampering with your with your samples. So, I mean, yeah. bottom line is this. Hey, Ch- bottom line is this. Hey, yeah. They got measures. They got stuff in place to uh, prevent that. All you got to do is stay clean, and it will be proven. You know, and it'll be proven in your work, in your work ethic, and in your blood samples, and in your urine samples. Because you, because it's, it's a it's a backup just for stuff like this, for for fighters saying, well, no, they must have tampered with it. No, 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 no. Okay, you dispute that. Okay, here we go. Here's their seal, and it won't be open unless you present. You sign it. It's right there, sealed. 
You watch and seal it. Yeah. And there hey, you go. Hey, yeah. Now, champ, this is what I'm talking about right here, champ. You, they watch you. You watch them seal it and all that, right? But once it leaves right. your your presence, once it leaves your presence, you don't know if a person can unlock it and do whatever they want to do. With enough money being involved, or they can they can get it unlocked. If they wanted you to lose, or they wanted to seem like you did something wrong, they can unlock that boy and just say, "Oh, it's dirty," or they ain't even got to unlock it. They can just pay the person who who's the doctor over and say, "Oh man, he's tested dirty." If they really want you to win, but you know how dirty boxing is. They can do that, especially if you the A side. Well, I mean, I, I believe anything can be done, but I know what I signed. I know what I sealed. So if my signature ain't on it when they open it. It's a problem. Okay, this not my yeah. signature. Somebody else signed it. Yeah, yeah. So now we got yeah, but, now we yeah, got but, an issue. Yeah, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this right here, because you know, I, I don't, I don't um had the pitch in there where it sealed it up before. What I'm saying is, once it leaves your hand, you're not gonna see it again. Once you sign it and they seal it in front of you and all that, you're not gonna see no. it never again. Oh, yeah, all you they gonna do is tell you. You will, you, will, you will see it again if if sample A comes up um positive. And you get the, they'll open sample B in front of you because you're distributing it. So they'll you, you got a right to be present. You can sit there and watch or send a representative. You'll make sure it's your signature and it's your your your, your sample, and it's right there. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. and your blood is your blood. When they do now, they got advanced yeah. testing. They doing blood testing. <laughs> yeah. They can't switch your blood. Yeah, no. What what, yeah. what I'm saying though is after I send it to the labs and the labs send it to wherever this and that. I don't see it again. You can see it right then and there. I never failed a drug test for them to say, "Okay, here's your stuff, man. You signed it, this you." I never, I never went to that. Well, went to that extent well, or been to that. And you, and, and you know what you could do with that shit? If somebody pulls something like that with your blood, you can just go get an independent test and 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 and, 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 and publicize it, video the whole thing, Absolutely. let them go and send it to a reputable place, and then you get the results back when they positive. You say, "Look." It's impossible for this stuff to be on my system in this short amount of time, mm-hmm. and you expose the whole game or the whole vinyl or or, or, or or whoever took your test. Now you expose them for being a fraud. There you go. Now that's what uh, I'm talking about right there. There you go. That's some good stuff right there. Uh, champ, uh, this uh, uh, you get a chance uh, to uh, uh, get. Uh, to watch the, the the heavyweight action uh, uh, these past couple of weeks, I, I know you were busy this weekend, uh, but uh, I, I was kind of wanted to ask you some things about the uh, the Tyson Fury and and uh, the Deontay Wilder situation. What situation? What situation are you speaking on? Well, uh, you know, now, they both fighting that, somebody uh, else. Now, now that. Uh, Anthony Joshua has lost, uh, and he has to to to, to make his rematch with uh, uh, Luis. Uh, you know, we're looking for a different timetable uh, for Anthony Joshua and uh, Deontay Wilder. How much did did, did the loss of uh, Andy Andy uh, Joshua Anthony Joshua's loss? How much did it lower his stock uh, in the heavyweight division? Well, you know box. You know how boxing is. You're only good as your last fight. So, I mean, right now he at rock bottom. Uh, but if he come back and, and knock out uh, Andy Ruiz, he'd be at sky high. He still he still put, filling up stadium. Uh, he you know he's from England. That's the size of what like two American states combined. So they you know they got they 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 support they support their boxing a lot more. Then America support their boxes. Uh, so, I mean, probably half the country, or if not the entire country, know Anthony Joshua is the heavyweight champ. Now, I can go to America and just poll people. They wouldn't even know who the heavyweight champ is. So, I mean, they get behind him. So, Anthony is going to make money. He's going to be popular. So, all he needs to do is avenge his, his loss, and he'll be right back there. And then that uh, – Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua fight will be as appealing as ever. In fact, it might be more appealing because people people know that um Anthony is, is suspect now, or he can be hit. And if Deontay hit anybody, he can knock him out. Do you think that who do you think is the best heavyweight uh, right now between uh, 
uh, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. Uh, who else? We got so we got somebody else out there with a belt. So many, so mm-hmm. so many belts. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, the the top top. Well, you got to call put Anthony Ruiz in there because he's he's the champ right now. But uh, out of those four, who do you think is the best heavyweight? Well, I'm a little biased. I think Michael Hunter beats them all. Now, if okay. you take Michael, if you take Mike Hunter off the off the off the list, then I would I would put right now I would put until I see how Tyson Fury re- respond from from that knockdown that he he miraculously got up from, I think um, Deontay might have took a lot out of him with that shot. So um, it's it's still like a, a, a toss. So Tyson Fury is the best boxer. Deontay's the hardest puncher. Tyson Fury. One, in my opinion, won the fight. So I'm gonna have to put him number one right now with Deontay close, close second. And I believe, and me saying that, I believe Deontay gonna knock him out in the rematch. So then it'll be un, undisputed, no doubt about it. Deontay is the best heavyweight in the, in the world. But right now, based on the last fight, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to lean for Tyson Fury. Uh, what did you think about the, the Anthony uh, uh, Joshua Andy Ruiz fight? I mean, you know, everybody thought that, you know Andy uh, Joshua would come out there, you know, make easy, well, if not easy work, at least you know taking the distance. Uh, what did you think about? I mean, you know, it, 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 it's not uh, always the you know the he man type body that wins. I mean, you know, here we had. Uh, you know, the, the Jello Kidney man, you know, uh, you know, beat down a uh, bodybuilder. Uh, what was your thoughts on that? Yeah, you my, my, much my, 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 thought, my, my, my thoughts on that fight was, and, and I don't like to play Monday morning quarterback, so I won't, but I, I, I gave Andy Reid a real good shot at winning. And the reason why I did it is not by looks. Not by how he looked. It's because I actually sparred Andy Reid before. So I actually knew what he had. I knew he got a, a heck of a chance, and he's strong, and he's durable. So I knew going in that uh, that Joshua was going to try to railroad this boy, and it's not going to happen. So um, I was actually surprised when Andy, when, when Anthony Joshua dropped him. I said, he's not dropping um, Andy Reid. And he's not going to knock him out. So, um. It really didn't surprise me because I knew Anthony was coming in, and and I thought it was way too much pressure on him fighting in America for the first time. He feels like he has to get a knockout. He feels like he has to look super impressive to put the because Deontay Wilder just looked extraordinary a couple of weeks, a week prior. So now he, I thought Deontay, and 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 in a crazy way, put more pressure on Joshua to look good. And I think that was his downfall. I think Deontay helped uh, Andy Ruiz knock Anthony Joshua out because the, the the burden was on him to look spectacular because Deontay did. Now, now he went out there trying to look spectacular and got cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man. Hey, uh, hey, you know. Hey Chab, you know, I, I would, if I was uh, Eddie Hearn and them, I kind of think it was Eddie Hearn and them fought. They probably should have canceled the fight. Period. Once, once Big Dave Miller, you know, failed the drug test, they should have canceled the fight, man, and he would still be undefeated. That was distraction right there. Um, I don't know about that. I think, um, I think, I think, you know, Anthony Joshua, it was, his, it was, it was a mentality. Even if he fought Big Baby. Even if he fought Big Baby and he wouldn't have testified, I just think I just think he he had that added pressure on Deontay icing Brazil in so such a dramatic fashion, and and it's a debate on who's the best heavyweight that Anthony was going to try to come out and out top him. He was going to try to outdo Deontay, you know. And, and, and when he did that, even if he fought Big Baby, Big Baby wasn't just going to go away. He wasn't going to just run over him. So, and both of them, Andy and Big Dave got better tennis than Anthony Joshua. So, yeah, okay, you can give it to, to like, the best of them, but can you take it? If, if somebody can take yours yeah, and start firing back, because cause yeah, Anthony, yeah, you know, cause Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz took his best shots and said, okay, hold this. 
and look what happens. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? When I'm focused, and it's and it's a beef between me and you, and all of a sudden, you know, you you know, you fail a drug test, all the air goes out. Now they put a guy in there who I ain't even focused on fighting. Three weeks before the fight, I don't just like, oh man, what's gonna happen now? I don't know who I'm gonna fight. I lose. I, I, I'm in America for the first time. The focus to me wasn't there. If he'd have fought uh, Big Bay Miller, even though I think Big, Big, Big Bay Miller would have gave him a harder fight, I think it would have been a more competitive fight. I think when he when he saw Andy Reid, he thought he was just bringing him in as an opponent. They was in his ear like, man, you're going to beat this guy. They tried to pick the weakest link, and the focus wasn't there, and he got stopped. But, see, if you're a world champion, you can't use that excuse to focus what that. You got a job to do, and you're a world champion. No matter where you fight, no matter who you fight, you got to be ready. You can't use that, oh, I wasn't focused. You're a world champion. You're getting paid millions and millions of dollars. How can you say you're not focused? How can you not be focused on on, on, on your craft? You're the world heavyweight champion. You cannot lose focus. That's an excuse. You can't do that. Yeah, but. I've been I've Absolutely. been heavyweight champion in the world. Cannot lose focus. Period. Yeah, but you know, hey, look, when you when you the king of New England and you making a whole bunch of money, and they tell you you good, you know we gonna get you an easy fight. You know, it's, it's, I tell you, all this take is that little focus. Even with the little focus, he still knocked down Reese. But you know, he's spoiled, man. You gotta remember, he's the king over there. He to me. He had, he doesn't knock nobody out like like Deontay Wilder, but he has way more followers on Instagram, Twitter, and all that because he's a king. So he so he's coming to America like Eddie Hearn, like 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 Eddie Murphy, and he I believe he just lost focus. It can happen. It can happen to the best of them. I'm not I'm not, I'm not disagreeing him. with you that he I'm not disagreeing with you that he lost focus. What I'm saying is as the champion of the world, you don't lose focus. You know, that's if true. he lost You're it, right. that's on him. Right. That's that's what he. That, that's that's his problem. But you don't lose Absolutely. focus. You the man. That's you don't true. lose focus. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you know what? You yeah. got a belt to protect. You got that. You got that. Yeah. You know that man trying to take food out your mouth. You know you don't lose focus. If he was if he was on the on the on the subway in New York and somebody wanted to take his shoes off of, he ain't gonna let him take his shoes. Yeah, absolutely. But he absolutely. let him come in and but take his stuff. But guess what though? That's why I, I, mean, I believe that the American trainers are better. If you would have been in his corner, if you would have been in his corner, being a, a former world champion, he would have lost focus. You would have been telling him, like, bro, listen, bro, this is some real stuff, bro. You got to get focused, man. What are you doing? So you would have still be world champ right now. And you know, you know, I've been through it all. So I know I know going in fight week, everything, all the distractions. I'm, I'm here for all of it. So, so I make sure know. we good. We good. When we exactly. go, we good. Exactly. My man be ready. We ready. We Absolutely. got we got the distraction muscles. We ain't going for none of it. There ain't nothing new gonna come. I done seen it all. That's why the uh, that's why the foreigner fighters they go over and get they went and got Emmanuel Stewart. You know, Lennox Lewis wasn't a fighter he was until he got with Emmanuel Stewart. Clisco wasn't right. the fighter he was until he got with Emmanuel Stewart. Guess what? If you go over there and you go and you work uh Anthony Joshua's uh next fight, I, I give him all the chance to beat Andy Reese because you know what it what it takes and in America we we fight totally different than than a European wow. fighter. That's you hey, well you know what you know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh Mr. Rosman, uh you did mention uh, uh uh, Michael, uh, when is it, have, have you heard uh, anything about his next fight? Uh, uh, and uh, Michael Hunter? I know, uh, you know, yes, sir. Uh, you were talking about him uh, on um, September 13th in New York. And uh, who, who's, who's going to be his opponent? Um, Kuzman, Sergey Kuzman, undefeated um, Russian Olympian. Um, you know he undefeated. He going he gonna be he gonna catch his first L on the third team because we gonna we gonna get him out of there. Oh, and yeah. then they don't they gonna stop us. Will it be televised? Uh, it's gonna be on the zone. Oh, that's good. Okay. I can't wait. September thirteenth. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, and, you, 
y'all, if y'all, y'all in that area, come check them out. I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed. It's, it's one of the most exciting fighters. You know, I mean, the, the rap used to be on Mike. He can't punch. He can't do this. He can't do that. Okay, come see him. Go look at this guy. This guy, Martin Bacol, the undefeated guy, where he knocked out. Go look at him. His last two fights, he's not knocking these guys out. And it, don't, it don't matter the size. It don't matter. It look like David is Goliath when Mike get in there with these giants. And we, and we, and we chop them down. Do you still get in there, champ? Do you still get in there, champ, and still spar with the young guys? Do you spar with Mike I, Hunter? Have you ever sparred with him? If, if whoever wanted to get it, I mean, I, I work out every day, so you know, I gotta be. I'm still, I'm still able to bench over 400 pounds, so they can get it. I'm just, I just lay low, you know. But if whoever wanted can get it, I mean, I'm always ready. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, Jim. I'm always ready. You know they can get it. I, I'm not. I'm, when I'm 75, I'm gonna be able to finish 315. I'm, I'm, I'm dead set on that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm never gonna be uh, weak. So I stay yeah, in the gym. Gee, I, I hear you, champ. You know, I, I'm, I'm just a little bit younger, but hey. That, you know, I, K-9 keep threatening me, and I keep telling him I'm going to show up there in Detroit. You know, hey. <laughs> uh-huh. go, yeah. go, 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 be hard to, go be hard to explain on YouTube with Social Security. You know, you know, hey, you know, uh, Social Security knocks out the champ. Uh, you know, that, that, that just don't look uh-huh. right. You know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, you, you spoke about Mr. Hunter, uh, uh, and I, I know I've seen with, with some other fighters uh, in your stable. Uh, you have some other up and coming fighters, or, or uh, some yeah, I got, I got, be- I got, <laughs> I got, um, I got, I got my son who was eight and zero as a heavyweight. I got, um, I got Mike Hunter's brother who is, um, he's, um, I think he's the hottest and hundred forty pounds. I mean, we, we, we take on everybody at one forty. And I'm not just I'm not just saying we'll take on everybody as as just saying I'm saying we ready. Whoever bring the contract, we ready next fight. We not saying a month from now, I mean a year from now, two years from now, we gonna eventually be I'm saying we ready right now. I got a cruiserweight, Muslim Cajun, undefeated, six and oh, coming up the chart. I mean, we gonna take over. Man, my boys work. And I got my son. I got my son. He's gonna be a, he gonna be middleweight. I'm getting him down to middleweight. Sharif Rock, my man. This boy, we gonna make noise in this heavyweight division in the, in the boxing. <laughs> Period. We coming. And I'm gonna tell you what. When they know how Sam Rockman behind, these boys gonna be in dog shape. They be in dog shape. Cause I can still do it. So they got to match me. They and they got to beat me. They can't beat do beat what I'm doing. They can't beat these champions. So I'm I'm gonna have them ready for everybody. I put them through war every day, and not war, just the boxing, the physical condition, the teaching, the technique, everything. I, my my crew is ready. We ready. Uh, we've actually had your we've actually had your son on the show. Which one? I got two of them. I I I saw I seen Junior. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. I mean, you'll see him. You'll see him. He he, he getting in, he getting in the shape. He helping Mike kind of get ready for his fight. He getting he getting in there. Um, these guys getting quality work, and they they learning. They, I mean, it's just a beautiful thing to watch the progress. So I mean, all you gotta do is keep watching, and and I, I promise you gonna hear. A lot from everybody I'm training. One thing you won't know, one thing you won't know, even if they ain't the most talented, they're going to be the, the, the most conditioned. They're going to be the most conditioned. Oh, and man, maybe hey. the fight. You said what? I said that's like that's 80% of the fight, being in condition. Man, man, you better believe it. You better believe it. I don't, I don't, you, you give me, I take conditioning over talent any day. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, sir, uh, it, it was good having you with us and, and, and talking. To, um, hey, I got. To, I'm talking to two champions, so I, I, I really feel, you know, really blessed here. So, uh, 
<laughs> Why don't you give us uh, your, your last uh, words? Uh, tell us anything uh, uh, about uh, social media, and uh, we appreciate your time tonight. Man, I, I appreciate I appreciate y'all having me. Uh, I just had a you know a wonderful weekend being inducted into the Nevada State Boxing Hall of Fame. It's a pleasure coming on here and sharing this time with you guys of the camp and on your show. So anytime you want me back, just reach out. I'm there. Yes, sir. We appreciate that. And congrats again. Congrats on the duck, man. Duck, yeah. My man. Thanks, champ. Thanks, champ. All right. 